What's up, Nature Hacker here, and uh, today I'm going to have a little bit of a different video, and this is on a uh, game called Ashes of Creation. It's an MMORPG. Um, as you may know, um, I've been really big into EverQuest and been <clears throat> kind of working on uh, trying to make my own games, and uh, so this is a, a cool game uh, that fulfills lots of things that uh, original um, kind of... OG uh, MMO players would want Ashes of Creation. So I don't really want to go into uh, in depth about the game. If you want, you can check out Ashes of Creation uh, online and find out more about it here on YouTube. Lots of videos on it. Um, but I think one of the things that is the most uh, um, potentially uh, problematic parts of this game design is uh, the proposed fast travel. Um, uh, it's basically a family summon fast travel where you can have, there's eight people in a family and they can all be summoned. You can basically, one person can summon other people from the family to them so that they can play together, uh, you know, to help casual players, whatever. Um, but what I want to say is that this sort of thinking, the helping casual player thinking, um, in my experience never actually helps casual players it actually hurts them because the hardcore players are the ones that are going to take full advantage of the system um, and just leave casual players even more in the dust than if the system didn't exist for example I played a game that in um, in 2011 they proposed uh, having XP potions and um, they're like oh don't worry you know this is just for you know those casual players that can't play as much as the rest of us and just so they can catch up you know they can buy XP potions the XP potions are gonna be very expensive in the shop so don't even worry like um, nobody's really gonna use it unless they're just some rich casual right and everybody's like oh okay yeah they're so expensive nobody's gonna use them it ended up to where everybody had to use them <laughs> like in order to be in top guilds they required that you bought a ton of these potions every month and were using them constantly so um, the casuals never use them because they're too expensive mostly casuals are not like some like uh, business suit executive casual I mean that's like one in a million like casuals are usually like kids or um, you know people that don't have a lot of money that just want to play a little bit but mostly kids casuals are mostly kids so the point is those potions did not help the casuals it hurt the entire game because it made the whole game pay to win right and um and it, it above all helped the hardcore and especially the hardcore guilds that took full advantage of forcing their members to use those potions um and what i also want to say is that mmo that i was talking about in 2011 they introduced uh, xp potions um that MMO um, is free to play and it turned out that most players at high levels um, were spending around $100 a month or about $1,000 a year on the game. So um, what I'm going to propose to you, what is going to be used in Ashes of Creation um, because of this family fast travel feature, uh, they're going to be spending, you might say, well that's too expensive, nobody's going to do that. Well again. People in free-to-play MMOs are spending upwards of $100 a month on the game. So what I'm going to propose is 100% what can and will happen in Ashes of Creation if the family fast travel exists. So um, we know in Ashes of Creation that you can have multiple accounts. So basically you can pay $15 for one account, you can pay $30 for two accounts, you can pay $45 for three accounts, etc. Um, so what that means is you have eight family members. So if you have eight accounts, that's eight times 15, um, that is $120. So you could yourself buy eight accounts for $120 a month. And that would fit in the, the range of what people spend on MMOs, whether they're free to play, whether they're not, whether they're, you know, a subscription plus they're buying things in the auction house whatever it is people are spending easily a hundred dollars a month on these games so somebody could have eight accounts to get what I'm gonna tell you right here and I'm gonna tell you that clans the top you know guilds where you want to call them the top top of the top guilds are gonna require that you do this in order to be in their guild they're gonna require that you're spending a hundred hundred twenty dollars a month on the game if you want to be in their guild because you're gonna to need to do this so this is what um, people could do, okay? So you have one main and you have seven alts. 
And, you know, all seven of those, all eight of your characters could be max level. Who knows? Um, but the point is, is that you will, the guild will have you put one of your accounts in certain places that they want you to be able to fast travel to. So I marked out some red dots, some, you know, I just equally kind of spaced them around the world. Um, these are obviously going to be uh, points of interest that the clan wants. Maybe there's a dragon that spawns right here, so maybe we move that there. Maybe there's a giant that spawns here, so we'll have that over here. Um, whatever it is, um, you know, these are just kind of my, what I would say is a good way to start out with your, um, with your account. So what you would do is you would have one of your alts at each one of these places. So there's seven stars here, and you would have each one of your alts parked in one of these spots. And of course, they can move, right? So, um, you know, you can move them here, you can move them there, whatever. Um, so what you would do is say you're just you're on your main and you're just walking around and you're fighting stuff, and and the guild's like, okay, we got boss up in T1, and let's say this is T1. So then everybody logs on their alt that's in T1, and they summon themselves to themselves, okay? And yeah, there could be guildies in groups say, hey, you know, let's all work together and um, get in our own family so we don't have to spend all this $120 a month. So we, but I'm telling you, the top level guilds are gonna require that you have your own source of um, travel that doesn't depend on anybody else being there. So you're gonna wanna have every single person have one of their own alts that can teleport them there okay I'm just telling you how this is going to play out like you might think well I can get away with it without spending the 120 not if you want to be in the top guild okay so that's what the, the problem here is is that um, it's not that the the casual players are gonna benefit by you know hey my friend I can go play with my friend this is gonna become meta for the top guilds to be able to fast travel to points of interest okay they're gonna say hey we're getting contested on t2 we need everybody's to teleport there right now <coughs> So then everybody has to log their alt, go to T2, let's say this is T2, and boom, they everybody teleports themselves there. Okay, so I'm just telling you this is how the meta is going to work. And so everybody's gonna be expected, and the meta is gonna be that you have eight accounts that you're paying $120 a month uh, for this. So uh, this is how the uh, travel system will be exploited in Ashes of Creation. Um, basically it's gonna render boats, it's gonna render um, those airships, all that stuff, it's going to be obsolete at the highest levels. They're just going to fast travel like this. You know, you got points very close to wherever you want to be. You got seven points that you can immediately travel to. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe the dev say, well, you know, we're going to make it um, a 12 hour, uh, a 12 hour um, cooldown, right? So, but again, this is a whole nother account here. This is a whole nother account here. This is a whole nother account here. This is a whole nother account. So each of these accounts will be on twelve dollar hour cooldowns. So you could spawn here, and then you could you could you, or sorry, you could pull yourself here. But you could immediately pull yourself here because this is a new account and it does it's it's got its own twelve hour cooldown. And then you could immediately go here because this is its own account. It has its own twelve hour cooldown. So the point is, unless you're making the cooldown like. Uh, a week or more you're still going to be having people being able to jump basically wherever they want to go whenever they want to go there so um, if you want to make the cooldown a week maybe that would disincentivize it because each one of these points could only go once a day but still you can still go to each point you can still go to one point every day so maybe today you go to you get fast travel to this point maybe tomorrow you fast travel to this point so even if the cooldown is seven days <clears throat> you can still fast travel every day with these seven alt accounts so i really don't think cooldown is a reasonable thing and again like if you set the cooldown to seven days now your casuals aren't going to be getting anything from it at all yet again still the hardcore will still actually get something from it um, and you know you can say well we can only let's make it so these are set so you can't just move your guy anywhere you have to um, teleport only to a tavern or a high level tavern or whatever <coughs> well this could also be gamed because the, the guild will just create taverns at each of these locations and they will guard them right so yeah I mean there could be contesting on the taverns and stuff but still a high level guild will have the taverns where they want them and the 
guildies will all be have their alts in that location to spawn. So I don't think that's going to really affect anything at all. Um, so honestly, I just think it should be removed from the game. I just think that um, you're putting so much development work in things like airships and boats and cool things like that, like flying mounts, super rare. I, I think all of that is great. And so I think this this should be taken out of the game. And should it re be replaced something? Maybe. I think I like the EverQuest system where a couple classes, like in EverQuest there were 16 classes, two of which could summon. Sorry, I need like the water or something. Two of which could summon, but they could only summon to set places like actual um, ruins that were immovable in the game. Like the druids could summon to druid rings, which looked a lot like Stonehenge, right? And there was a few of them. There was probably like seven or so throughout the world. And wizards could summon to wizard spires, and there was only like maybe four of those throughout the world. <clears throat> so you could only summon to those set spots. So that wouldn't be like a spot right next to a raid boss or right next to the entrance of a raid or anything like that. So that was pretty cool. And the, the thing about it is you couldn't summon players to you. Um, hold on, let me uh, pause for a second. I need to get a drink of water. All right, I'm back. So what I was saying is that in EverQuest, um, you couldn't summon people to you. I think there was one spell at like level, at like super high level, where you could summon one person to you with a super long cooldown or something. But in general, what it was is <clears throat> the classes could themselves port to locations reasonably easily, you know, at reasonably low level um, and for reasonably low mana cost and cooldown or whatever. But to take somebody with them, that was a group port, and you would have to be with the person in their zone, partied with them, and you would have to um, teleport with them to the place you wanted to go. So this is better because, number one, um, requires a high-level character to do that. Number two, it requires that that high-level character travel to the other character to be able to port them. So there's somebody needs to travel at least. You know, you can't just log an alt and summon somebody to you. You have to go to the person and then go with them to the uh, porting location. So um, for all those reasons, I think that that system works better where it's like a spell, where there's set places that can't be moved that you can port to um, that are probably not very convenient, you know, and you make it that way. So they port you to not very convenient places. And you have to go with them, and that actually makes it more fun. Like, let's say you're talking an actual casual, right? Um, <clears throat> and their higher level friends like, hey, come play Ashes of Creation. I'll come pick you up, you know? So what happens is the person makes their uh, character, let's say, you know, they make the character right here. And the other guy is like, hey, let's, we want to fight over here. So what this other guy does is he ports to maybe here is where the stones are that he can port to. He runs, finds his friend groups up with him and teleports him <clears throat> to maybe here and then they run together here. So that's more fun. You know, just summoning somebody to you isn't a lot of fun. They don't get to explore the world. They don't get to um, engage with the world. But if in the EverQuest style where the porter has to actually travel to find the guy and then port him somewhere and then they have to run to the place they want to go, that creates more engagement, that creates more fun. So I think that's a better system. I think we need to scrap this whole fast <clears throat> family fast travel thing as it can obviously and will be exploited by clans whether it's in alpha or whether they just wait to do this until the main game releases it's going to happen so uh let's nip it in the butt now so thanks for watching and let me know what you think bye